Hey everyone, I recently got some uh, motorized blinds from blinds.com, just their standard uh, cheap motorized blinds. Uh, and I wanted to see if I could um, integrate them into the Vera uh, and control them. Um, I'd also recently started using uh, Henrik's awesome MySensors Arduino plugin. Um, and I was able to um, use a Arduino RF uh, 433 megahertz transmitter uh, to control my blinds. So I'll show you how to do that in just a second, but first I just want to give you uh, a quick demo here of how that works. So um, I have this slider working, sort of. It doesn't um, lower them by a percentage, but if you drag it all the way down, uh, it will lower um, when it hits the zero. Um, so it sort of works, but not fully. Okay, so the first thing you'll have to do uh, until someone figures out how to um, directly interpret the signals into the Arduino program uh, is make a uh, RF sniffer, I guess that's what they're called, um, and plug that RF sniffer into your sound card or your computer um, so you can uh, interpret this signal. So um, I found these uh, specs online for this. Uh, basically you have your uh, RF receiver right here. Um, got can get them uh, at any Arduino uh, supply place, uh, eBay, um, yeah, any place you get your, your uh, Arduino parts. Uh, so then from there, um, let's see, what do we have? We have a 10K resistor um, going to ground um, right here. And then that goes to the ground of the 3.5 millimeter uh, headphone jack here. Um, so that's basically ground um, from your USB power. Uh, I just use an old cell phone charger. So that's this right here and then you have your ground pin going to your um, RF trans or RF receiver, the 10k resistor uh, going into your uh, 3.5 millimeter um, headphone connector. Then you have um, 5 volt DC power going to your um, receiver and then from there you have a data digital pin out of that that goes to a 39k resistor and then that goes into the other um, I guess input of your 3.5 millimeter um, headset adapter. You can see mine's pretty beat up here. I just took an old pair of headphones, cut it open and then soldered on the wires um, so I could plug that into my sound card. Okay, so now I've plugged my RF sniffer into my um, computer and I have it um, into my line-in jack. That's the pink jack on your computer. Uh, I read online um, people were warning to plug it into the line-in, not any other jack, so just thought I'd warn you. Um, so you can see up here um, that the signal, it just basically has a whole bunch of static while it's plugged in. Uh, and then when you press the button on your remote, it should give you a digital beeping sound. Um, so I'm using the free Audacity program. You can just download online. It's just the Audacity audio program to record. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just press record, press the button on my remote, and then stop. So record, there's my button, stop. So now what I need to do is just zoom in on this waveform and you'll notice I start to see a pattern here. So when I zoom in, this is my actual RF signal here. So what, what I've done is decoded all this signal. So really all you need to do is just figure out the first 28 uh, bits they're calling it, or I'm calling it, I don't know, everyone online. Um, so to determine the bits, the one and the zero, uh, you zoom in and look at your waveform. So there's basically six repeating patterns here. So when you see this long line here and then a, a drop, that's when the, the, the new pattern starts. 
Uh, so the shorter waveform, like you see here, uh, is a zero, and the longer one is a one. So you just need to count up. So zero, one, 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 zero, one, one, and so on. So you just need the first 28 bits. You can plug it into the Arduino program. I'll show you how to do that later. Um, I would recommend just grabbing the first 28 um, from from the a couple of different patterns here, just to make sure um, you're getting it right. Otherwise, your Arduino program won't work. Okay, so here's the Arduino program here. So all you need to do now that you have your 28 bits is just put them in these variables here. Uh, so the first uh, four bits here just leave as all zero. I, I couldn't figure out another way to do this, so I just did eight bits here. So basically you just need to get a total of um, 32 bits, but we only need to send it 28. So we're just going to leave the first four bits as zero. So uh, when you're plugging in your um, bits that, on your remote, you just start with this one here, and then just 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, you get the, you get the idea. Okay, so here is the um, sensor that works with uh, Henrik's uh, My Sensors plugin. So um, this stuff over here is pretty standard. So here's the Arduino Pro Mini, and then the, the radio chip here. Um, this is a 3.3 volt Pro Mini, so I don't need a regulator because this chip will only take 3.3 uh, volts or else you'll uh, blow it up, I guess. Um, so in my Pro Mini, I've loaded my Arduino program on here, and then we've got my, uh, my radio that communicates with the Vera, and then um, here is my RF transmitter, um, 433.92 megahertz uh, transmitter with a uh, 17 centimeter, I believe, antenna. Um, so basically you just need to connect that into digital pin 3 on the Pro Mini and then everything else will just be the standard uh, my sensors setup.